Welcome back to the Sorcery playthrough of Elden Ring, everyone. Uh, as you can probably tell, I came back to Kaelid, uh, to the Bestial Sanctum, for one reason and one reason only. Throughout this entire playthrough, I've been like periodically testing uh, when I can take on this Blackblade Kindred. And I'm pretty sure the time is now. I just did the wrong spell. Uh, I just did the wrong spell again. But... Yeah, I think up until now I wasn't strong enough to have a chance against this guy. But I think that's probably changed. As you can see, I can now finally do enough damage where it actually matters. Because uh, believe me, this guy has a lot of HP. And I have enough magic uh, where I can reliably spam spells at him. So... We're gonna try this. You can actually stun him fairly easily with the Rock Sling. As you can many enemies. See? Told you. Ah. What I was trying to do is go for more uh, hits, but that's okay. This is the only problem, of course. Uh... The damage this guy deals is fairly nutty. I mean, everything deals fairly nutty damage, but this thing especially. I mean, that is some crazy shit when you think about it. So anyways, I thought I would start the episode off with this. Why, I don't know. It's a nice way to get some uh, levels and runes and... Because getting your, like, runes back is so easy, if you stick in this area, there's r r really no penalty to trying this. Uh, I can keep attempting this, and I will probably need to have several attempts, but it's fairly unlikely that I would actually lose the 48k, which is not even enough for a single level at this point. So yeah, I'm gonna have a couple of shots at this, it's very possible that I'm just simply too weak, HP-wise. Uh, but I don't know. Let's let's persevere a little bit here. I mean, the idea there was good of me starting off with rock slings. Just this guy can close the gap fairly quickly. Jesus. That's like his weakest attack and it dealt that much damage. Maybe it's just better to... Yeah. I think that that just... Um... Yes! I broke the game! I broke the game. I don't know how... Fuck, he's not gonna be broken again. Right? Yeah, okay. I shouldn't have gotten so greedy. That was very nice while it lasted. Uh, the aim here now is not to be killed. Well, I think I just got a handout, didn't I? I think I got a major, major freebie from Elden Ring. So thank you, Elden Ring. I appreciate that. I appreciate the freebie. You're like, you know what? I've seen Mr. Sketchhead, he's been having a struggle, he can have this one. Um, Naisu, that was insanely easy of course. If I hadn't stunned him the second time with Rock Sling, he would have been glitched the whole time, which is pretty nice. Anyways, there is of course another boss here, who I think is also doable. Plus, a golden seed that I totally forgot about. And that's the dragon. The dragon on the bridge. I think... This technically shouldn't be a problem. The dragon is way easier than Blackblade Kindred. Uh, this is one of those non-elemental dragons, so... Let's try and do this. And we have the ulcerated tree spirit as well. I mean, this area is, once you're strong enough, this area is really good for, uh, like, leveling up. 
because these enemies give mad runes and that is always appreciated let's try and go for a headshot there yeah it's not the worst he's gonna kill me now no he's not yes he is I predicted that. Yeah, he's taking damage. He's taking damage. Oh yeah, and there's one thing I totally forgot about. See, some of this stuff just comes to your mind when you're actually playing. Uh, people have been suggesting a very powerful talisman for me. That is, like, found in Rhea Lucaria. I think it's Radagon's talisman or whatever it's called. Apparently it like radically increases your uh, the casting time of the spell or like reduces the casting time of spells. Is this still gonna reach him? Oh. Thank fuck for that. That's really nice actually that you can cancel the shot into the hold. Is that gonna hit me? No it's not. It's not easy always to tell. I mean, this spell is very good for like... Fuck. Kill Torrent too. Because of course Torrent doesn't regenerate HP in between deaths. He doesn't regenerate HP ever. Alright. I think people explain... There's like some weird reason for it. Uh, there's a really good like Elden Ring mechanics explanation. Which covered the sort of... Oh, come on. That was bullshit. The sort of... Some of the weirdness around Torrent. Because I think he is... Like basically an invisible NPC. That's like always tracking you. Or like always around you. Come on, just stun. Grail. This is when they were running out of dragon names, I think. This one, Grail, that's a little bit... Um, it's a little bit try-hardy. I mean, Grail, okay. You got me, but... Grail? Holy Grail? Fuck, he's fast. God, Roxling is so good. God, getting insta-killed is so good. I like the feeling. Since I've been given this, like, little freebie here, let me just... Let me just pop back. I think people said to go to the... I think that's the... The, cla the debate parlor, right? That's where the Red Wolf was fought, and then I gotta grab my device. Cool, so what you basically need to do is... Yeah, go to the debate parlor, that's the stuff I had memorized. And there is this crazy path, which I totally didn't know about. Serves me right for never exploring properly. I mean, I tried to explore, but you gotta admit, there's a lot in this game. There is a lot to go to. And then right after you just jump in here, giving you a very nice visual of this little globe. And here we go. The Radagon icon. Now this thing, apparently, is mega, mega useful. Uh, here it is. Shortens spell casting time. A legendary talisman depicting the Elden Lord Radagon shortens the casting time of sorceries and incantations. As the husband of Renala of Caria, the red-haired Radagon studied sorceries, and as the husband of Queen Merica, he studied incantations. But he is Merica, which I still... It's still sort of a weird thing when you think about it. But that's just how it is. His talisman is mad good, though. Alright. Now, armed with this knowledge, the knowledge, 
let's try to drag it again. I'm really curious how much it actually shortens the the casting time. And then I think one of the like really advanced talisman, not talisman catalysts, not the carrion one, which I'm going for. One of the other ones also reduces casting time, which Oh shit, that's, that's actually quite a lot. This is actually quite a lot. But don't go for the feet, go for the head. Jesus, that's a lot. You see, I, w I wouldn't have been able to do that before, like escape. I mean, I didn't ex escape, but you get the point. Like, oh fuck. I wouldn't have been able to do that before. Fuck. Gotta put this fucking dragon in like the narrowest bridge possible. Fuck. Okay, this is a messy ass fight, but... Damn, is the cast time good now. I think there's another stat, I, I don't know which stat, but one of your stats also helps the casting time. I think it might be your dex. Don't quote me on that. Alright, turn around. Start with that tail bullshit. Oh no, he's not gonna. Nice, Sue. Two of these? Yes! You can! That actually does a lot of damage. I mean, again, the thing about this guy is he's very basic. He's an incredibly basic dragon. Like uh, Ag Heal, but of course does more damage. Easy money. That is easy money. Alright. You do get a shit ton for him though. And then the last thing to cover here, which for which we gotta go across the bridge, is the Earth Tree Avatar. Actually, before we do any of that, I am going to use them souls. I'm so close. In fact, I'm close enough that... Hold on, hold on, hold on. This might be big. That might be a bit over... Yeah, it's 35k. That's a little bit overkill, but... It's just chill. We got it. We got it, boys. Do we got it? The Carrion Regal Scepter. I mean, at this point, it's worse than the it's worse than the glint blade one. But just wait till we upgrade this. And then it's gonna be slaying. And then for what you call it, comet azure. Oh, it's sixty as well. Hold on. Yeah, they're both sixty. Which one of them is 62? I've Oh, it's 52. That's why I got confused. I think I confused 62 and 52. But there's still... There's a spell that needs like... The... Uh, I think it's the Renala's Full Moon. That needs like 70 something. Something insane like that. Anyways. All of that is besides the point. Because I don't really particularly want to go for... Uh, Renala's Full Moon. I've seen it and... While the animation looks cool, it never does as much damage as I feel like a spell with that int requirement should. Which is sort of a trend. Like if you check out something like the... Where are you? If you guys remember like White Dragon Breath from the first game, that has an insane like int requirement as well and just doesn't do a lot of damage. So, I don't know, man. 
It's tradition as old as time in souls. Yeah, again, this is easy money. And this is a putrid avatar too, so... Gotta watch out for the Crimson or Scarlet Rot. Like with this attack. Because the range on this thing is nutty. I think I'm just gonna go for the spells. Yeah, there's no reason to even do a critical. Since the criticals don't always scale very well. Damage wise. Hey, that's 91k. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Let's head back to the round table hold and try upgrading this bitch. I didn't think this would be the episode where I max my shit out, but, well, as much as I can. I'm not sure how much, like, somber stones I have. I think I have quite a few. Uh, we need... Dun, 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 dun. Where is it? Oh, they go on a separate screen. Okay, I'm a stupid. Carrion Regal Scepter. Okay, we need a plus three. Let me just check my inventory. So... Four, five, six, seven. Okay, I have up to eight. And then we need a nine and an ancient. And then we'll be good. We actually need two ancients because I also need to upgrade my sword. I should have the bell for a three. Fuck, I don't. Alright, we're gonna have to take a trip then to EG. Because he has it. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, that was a nice little trip for EG, to EG. I do like that NPC, so... Always good. They've been holding steady with the... the cool uncle giant blacksmiths throughout the entire game. Alright. So this one now has... Uh -huh. Please tell me it's better. It's still not better. It's barely. All right, well, shit. <laughs> All right, okay, well, I mean, I don't mind. It's 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 gonna pan out, uh, but for now, yeah, I think let's actually make some progress in the main game. I actually scratched that for a second because I looked it up and there's a really easy somber smithing stone plus nine that can be obtained Somewhere here, apparently. Uh, there should be a teardrop scarab somewhere. And it drops an ancient... Not an ancient, a somber smithing stone. Level 9. So I'm gonna... Try and find that. There it is. There we go. Much better. Man, that wasn't easy to find. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. It's way better at this point. Plus, eh, the look isn't look isn't the most impressive. I'm going to be honest with you, but the power, 
the power is what we're talking about. I'm gonna just pump my HP up a little bit and we can actually finally still progress with the game because this is turning out to be an extremely efficient episode. And I know, I know I can use Comet Azure now. Uh, I haven't forgotten. But Comet Azure is best reserved for... I call bosses, basically. And... We have basically the Fire Giant coming up next. As a mainline boss, who I'm not sure the... Like Comet Azure is best for. It's good for like... Oh fuck. It's gonna be good for like the Godskin duo and all this shit. Anything optional too. You'll get to see it, you don't have to worry. Terra Magica. The fucking MP saving tier. We'll, we'll, we'll all get to that. And this fucking Evergill, of course, the Lord's Contender. Uh, well, this might be a spot where the Comet Azor combo would be nice. Oh well. I mean, this is difficult too. Eh, whatever. You know what, let's just move on a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot they put the dogs here. The giant dogs. Totally forgot they have these things here. I have super quick arrows though, so get on my level. God, that is good. I feel like I'm officially in the OP era of sorcery. Oh, I can switch it out here. You, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm itching to try the combo, so... Let me just check this. Memorize spells, we're gonna get rid of... Mm, this one and this one we need Terra Magica and oh fuck oh it needs three slots damn I totally didn't notice that that's a thing in this game don't worry don't worry I mean it makes sense it's just yeah that wasn't really a thing before Okay. I need to like get the muscle memory of how to do this. So, flask, Terra Magica, <laughs> Kamehameha. That's the combo. Let's see how good it does. All right. Spell, Terra Magica. Comet Azor. <laughs> Don't even think about drinking that shit. Get Kamehameha, bitch. <laughs> yes. I like it. What the fuck? And this guy cheats anyways, but... We all know that. I mean, he's so fast. Why does it knock down? Damn. The, like, initial combo worked really well. Oh, come on. Am I seriously... 
Am I seriously getting fucked up? I mean, he's so fast. That's the... That's the thing about this guy. Am I... Uh, no, I'm not out. I mean, just the damage I'm doing is still naughty. Even with, like, my normal spells. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... Okay, well, you kind of saw the tactic there. I'm guessing it works a little bit better on the non-humanoids. Because... They can't get knocked down. Well, I mean, still. The idea holds. And as an idea, I'm gonna be honest with you, I kind of like it. I kind of fucks with it. What we're gonna need to do yet, and that was incredibly lazy that I decided to warp instead of just walk that distance. I don't even mind. So anyways... What I was gonna say is, let me just proceed through here and get the map. Fuck. That is some pro evasion, if I've ever seen it. Staff of the... Oh, nice! I randomly just got a Staff of the Guilty. Very nice, very nice. Ho ho ho. You know what's gonna happen. Um, hold on. Fuck off! Seriously, you're interrupting me while I'm doing this? Ruining all my... Eat shit. You ruined all my fun. I had that down. That would have been so cool. Did you see the damage? God, you can't have fun in this game, can you? No fun allowed type shit. Why do you have so much HP? Flamethrower hands. Okay. So what I was trying to do here uh, before I was rudely interrupted is this flask terra magica kamehameha that is fucking awesome <laughs> I do like it Does it have like infinite? No, it doesn't have infinite range. It has a lot of range. Awesome. Uh, I, I, I like this. I've been waiting for this pretty much since I started playing and now it has arrived. Yeah, it does pierce. Of course it pierces. fucking tracking too all right well I think we're gonna we're gonna have fun the rest of the game I don't know if anything could ruin the the entertainment of this build I mean this is pretty much if you've seen a magic build in Elden Ring. This is what they all go for. I mean, this is the... The Elden Ring late game magic strat. Fucking... Terra Magica, Comet Azor, Kamehameha, Blast everything. So... Yeah, we have it now. Okay, well I'm gonna go across the chain here. Which just sort of brings us nicely towards the back end of this, this area. I know I haven't done much of the optional stuff uh, up here, but there is a little bit less of it here on this side of the mountain. 
I mean, this mountain in general, you know. All right. Pretty much the build is done. Uh, or it's as done as it can be. I mean, there's still a lot to do with sort of upgrading intelligence because obviously this staff has very good scaling. So the higher you go, the better it gets. Uh, and that's just how it is. It's going to be difficult to beat this thing. Still, I'm really curious on how it will perform against an actual powerful boss. I'm not sure it does the best against the fire giant because it sort of has specific weak spots you need to hit, but let's not be too pessimistic here. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is wrap up this episode here. If you did enjoy this episode of Elden Ring, everyone, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.